Hello traders and welcome to tradingwithbill.com. I'm Bill. Good to be with you on a Wednesday, June 7th, 2017. Traders coming to you from Thailand. Uh, cloudy skies. Looks like we're going to get some rain probably in a couple hours. Um, but it's nice, cool weather today, which is nice. Get rid of the heat a little bit, but looking good. Uh, traders, interesting markets. I've got to tell you, it is just so interesting to watch these markets. If you haven't seen the videos in the last couple of days, we've changed our charts um, a little bit. And we'll get to that in just a second. Let's get over to data. Now, today we have data, but tomorrow we have a huge amount of data. In fact, I would recommend that if you're trading today and you go into tomorrow, by the end of Asia, before London open, I would make sure you're flat on all your positions. If you're in positions, you're in profit, I'd make sure you're to break even. If you're in losses, you're gonna have to make a decision whether you wanna take the loss and get out or take the or move your stop tighter and let the data go out and see if you can take advantage of that or just take your loss and re-enter like into Friday um, after all this stuff of course, we have the elections, we got the Fed, we got all this stuff coming out tomorrow on Thursday. So keep an eye on that. All right, let's take a look at what's going on today in data. Um, we did have um, GDP quarter on quarter for the Aussie, and that was 0 0.3 versus 0 0.2. And we did see an uptick on the Aussie dollar. Uh, let's see, what else do we got going on today? We got German factory orders coming out in the London session today. And it's right at, um, no, it's an hour before the open. An hour before the open. Uh, let's see, Halifax House Price Index, also out of the Great British Pound today. And we have, doo -doo 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 -doo, pretty quiet, huh? Uh, normally on Wednesday, crude oil inventories, those are on tap for today. And then we get into tomorrow um, for Asia. Um, Japan has GDP quarter on quarter tomorrow, and that is in Asia. We also have minor day, we have trade balance out of the Aussie also in Asia tomorrow, so keep an eye on that. We'll get into tomorrow on tomorrow because we do have a lot of stuff coming out, and we'll get into that later. Let's take a look at what happened yesterday in the markets as far as our commodities and indices go. The S&P 500 futures is up 0.04%, the NASDAQ futures is up 0.08%, the Dow 30 is down negative 0.03%, sorry, 23%. Um, S&P 500 VIX is up 3.77%. DAX is negative 1.04%. Nikkei 225 is 0.18%. And the dollar index is up 0.07%. However, that is still now below 97. It's, it's at 9657. So keep an eye on that. Um... What else could we look at? Let's take a look at our commodities. Uh, gold is down 0.17%. Um, um, WTI is negative 0.25%. Now, oil took a hit yesterday, and it's at 48.08 at present. Brent oil is now back above the 50 mark. Remember, it dipped down yesterday. Now, it's above that 50 mark, which we expected to happen. So, we're at 50.02%. And we'll keep an eye on that. Natural gas is up 0.33%, and U.S. coffee is negative 2.32%. Interesting, interesting stuff. Um, and we'll just we'll just keep an eye on that. So I was in the U.S. session yesterday, and of course bonds went up. And when bonds go up, what happens to the market? The market comes down. However, when you take a look at this later in the afternoon of New York, of course that's my sleep time. Um, it looks like it sort of did a little reversal there and the markets went back up <laughs> and I haven't looked at bonds today yet but it's pretty very interesting to watch all right so that's what's going on there let's head to the charts and uh, we're just gonna scan around here um, I want to take a look at the euro take a look at the euro today see what's going on not a lot going on like I said for those of you who are um, haven't been with checking the videos in the last couple of days, we've changed our charts. We've gone from a one hour chart to a 30 minute chart. The reason for that is just because of the markets. It's just, it's getting harder to make entries. 
I don't know if it's the volatility. I don't know if it's the volume. I don't know exactly how it's going, but now we're into summer. So adding all that together, I said, you know what? We need to, um, we need to adjust. The market's not going to adjust to William, right? So we need to adjust. So we're going to adjust this, and we went to a 30-minute time frame versus an hour time frame, and we put on um, harmonic patterns on our chart just to give us a little bit of an edge, right? So let's take a look at this euro. This euro worked, by the way. Here's the red arrow that we put on there. We wanted to get it at 1264. Comes down, comes all the way back up, gives you a retest of that area, comes all the way back down, and hits our 200 exponential moving average. Remember on Monday when we talked about this, I did say there's a good possibility we're going to bounce at the 200. And sure as it did, it bounced at the 200. So this trade's still in play. If you're in it, hopefully you got, you took profit scaled out you put something in the bank and now we're just waiting for this to move to the downside okay um but this this is still in play we haven't bounced above this trend line yet and we'll just keep an eye on that um let's take a look i don't think i had anything on the pound let's see what we got on the pound nothing going on in the pound it's just sideways and it's going to stay that way until after this election nothing's going to happen in the pound my friends Here's a euro yen. This is in a nice spot here. What you're seeing here, these are ABCD patterns. Okay, so here was an ABC pattern and it failed. Okay, this at D should have headed to the upside and it didn't do it, it just continued downward. So that voids that pattern. That, as far as I'm concerned, that pattern is void. However, we are looking for an up move, right? We're looking for an up move. Um, you know, we'll fib it and look for an up move and then take it down. But I'm not looking at that for today. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Here's the Aussie. I'll show you the. Um, this was the move on um, the data that came out today, and you know it bounced up here. It's now. You know. I do expect this to come back down. I don't know. The Aussie always does this. It it makes that move to the upside on data when it has good data, and then it turns around two hours, three hours, four hours later, and it'll be back to where it started. This pair does that all the time. You know, it's a personality of the, of the pair. So we'll watch this and, and just keep an eye on it. But I expect this to come back down. I don't see an entry here, by the way. I don't see anything to trade on the Aussie dollar right at the moment. So we're just going to hang on that one. My pair for today was the New Zealand dollar. That's my highlighted pair for today. I thought this was really a nice little setup here. So we can see that we have two ABCD patterns. And we can see we have a D here and we have a D here. For those of you who aren't familiar with harmonic patterns, they go through... Um, the pattern and the D is where you want to enter the trade. And it's a reversal pattern, right? So this pair has moved up. It's come to the D level. And we're expecting this now to come back down. Where would you take profit? You would take profit at the B. And then you would take profit later on at the C level of that ABCD pattern. So what are we doing today? If that confused you, don't worry about it. It's, it's, not, it's not that big of a deal. We'll do it so much you'll get used to it real easy. So, we want to get in this at 0 0.7170. We're going to put our stop at 0 0.7195. So, we got a 25 pip drawdown. Then, we're going to take this all the way down, almost 100 pips, depending on where you get in at 0 0.7070. We'll get in this. Uh, for, that's where we'll take our profit at. So, we have a nice thing. The other thing I really like about this, my friends, is this is a wide open space here. Wide open space. We don't have anything going on in here right it's a wide open space here except for this 200 exponential moving average so we'll keep an eye on that when we get to that and we hopefully will have enough pips and should that we can we can get out we can get to break even and and be safe in the trade and take it the rest of the way down it to me it looks like you know we can yeah it's it's almost, it's almost 50 pips into that oval so you know we'll go break even plus 15 and then let it then let it work its way down we expect a bounce but i don't see a lot of price action left of the chart from that 200 exponential moving average so therefore i'm not too concerned about it i think it's going to go through it and we can continue this trade i like this trade just got to wait for our entry my friends we have to be very cognizant about our entries entries are vital 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 in this market if you don't get your entry, don't chase price. 
Don't chase candles. Don't chase price. Wait. We'll get another opportunity to get in the trade. Remember, my friends, we have 41 currency pairs we can trade. You know, we all need to trade. You know, a lot of us, that's how we make our living. So we need to trade, but we can't be chasing price. There's plenty of currency pairs out there that we can move around and, and make our trades. Okay? Don't chase price. We gotta wait for our entry here. And the reason we're doing this 7170 is I wanted to get out of that red box and I want it to show me it's going to close below that and then we can take this to the downside. It's all like confirmation. Okay? All right. Traders, that's it for me. That's what's going on on a on a Wednesday hump day of our trading week. And it's awesome to be with you. Again, thanks for joining me at tradingwithphil.com. Have a great trading day. Traders, always remember to trade smart and not hard. We'll catch you next time. Take care, traders. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.